Yeah, I were in my workshop uh, yesterday and uh, I came to switch my compressor on like I normally do when I need it. And uh, a few few minutes later there was this almighty crashing bang. And I don't know if you can see on, on my marking off table here, this valve, this non-return valve, just shattered. Now, where my compressor is, under me, uh, under one of my workbenches, I think I was lucky really because it actually shot out and it hit the workbench leg, the wooden leg of the workbench. So I think I was a bit lucky really because it must have come out like a bullet, it ran nearly full pressure. Now, I'll just show you on me, on me actual compressor where this fits and, and, and where it hit on my workbench. Yeah, so this is where the non-return valve that's sh shattered fit, fits and air comes in into the valve and then into the tank and that, that little uh, valve on end of my uh, non-return valve reciprocates and I think with, with constant reciprocating like that I think the valve just got metal fatigue and, and smashed and if you can see where I'm pointing down here that's that's where it hit me, my workbench leg, and took a chunk out on it. Like a, it come out like a bullet. Now I think I was a bit lucky, really, because if if it had been in a position where it might have, well, I might have been in way of it, or it might have been in way where one of my motorbikes are, it would have done a lot of damage. So I just thought I'd show you this and uh, how I'm going to upgrade it and beef it up. So I'll go back to my marking off table and I'll just show it here again. Yeah, here we are then. Uh, this is the culprit valve. Now, the compressor I've got, the air compressor, it's a Sealy. Uh, which you would imagine is a good, a good name, really. But I would imagine all, all compressors are of the similar sort, they're all probably made in China and just got different logos printed on them. And I would imagine a similar compressor to what I've got will have a similar valve onto this. So, a word of caution to everybody there. Uh, I think this valve's prone to get metal fatigue and, and smash. And if you can see, if you can see this valve where it's smashed, the wall thickness, the actual wall thickness of the casting is incredibly thin. And where this valve re reciprocates banging up and down against the st the stop here, the cap, I think it's just over over a period of time just got metal fatigue and and shattered. But it shattered on full pressure and it's come out like a bullet. So that's my old valve there. Now uh, earlier on today. I made this uh, this new beefed up version, if you can see that. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the original elbow that goes to the cutoff switch, the pipe to the cutoff switch. I shall use the original elbow in the top because that's a, that's a strong elbow that. And I've made this out of brass and beef made, made like a beefed up version of the original. Um, so that's my old valve there that's shattered and I was lucky to get away with, with what I got away with and this is my new version now if anybody's interested in doing this it, it's it's pretty much a straightforward lathe exercise really if you've got a miller a milling machine that would be helpful but it can all be done in a in a lathe it's, it's, it's a pretty straightforward basic turning exercise. Now, what I've done, I've done a bit of a drawing here, if anybody's interested, uh, with all sizes on. I'll just scroll this through through camera, and then anybody that's interested might might just need need to have a have a look at it. Now, I know it looks pretty 
involved and complicated on that drawing but it's pretty straightforward really and like I said I've used this, these brass parts which I already had I've recycled them uh, it was made from one of these I don't know where I got it from I picked it up from somewhere but it can be quite easily it doesn't have to be hexagonal it could be quite easily made out of something that's not going to rust really some stainless bar or some brass bar or maybe some aluminium alloy that's strong I would imagine any 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 of that material will be adequate so but I've used this brass and I'll just I'll just show you what I've done I've used the original spring if I can get it out I've used the original spring but I've not used the original seal this is the original seal it goes onto a flat face and to be honest I don't think it's ever sealed properly since I've had it so I've done away with that original flat face seal and I've put a, a 45 degree, degree angle at the bottom and I've made this nylon uh, valve 45 degree to match it which then will seat on that valve and, and should give me a better seal actually so basically there's just four parts to make really you've got your main body here now this goes onto the original pipe from your compressor that feeds the air in and that's a, a three quarter inch UNF thread and it seats on that 45 degree face on the compressor part and then on the top you've got this 1 8 BSP thread that takes you the air off to the cutoff switch now the only important dimension there is that that hole when it breaks through is on this side of the in where the air's going in right so it's on on this side of the valve the valve will be there like that I'll just put that valve in and show you look so that there's that's the position of the valve and that hole there wants to be able to get the pressure to take it to your cutoff switch and then where the air comes in then and pushes this valve off its seat that then goes into the tank and I've made this adapter that fits into the tank to the original tank size and I've made this um, 3 8 BSP and what, what I did when I made this it had a flat face on so when it's screwed into the valve body like that if I can just line it up like that I screwed it into the valve body with a fibre washer on where it's going to seat and then obviously that's coming through into the part where the where the valve goes so you'd have you just have to put this back in lathe and bore it out and re-tap it so that you get that shape on end of this adapter and it then it don't foul the actual valve so you end up with that shape and then like I said I've made that valve out of a piece of nylon which I had and I've used the original spring so that seats in there then I've made this end cap out of a piece of scrap brass I had that's just a space of that because it were already drilled and then that that screws into onto the spring there like so seals seals there and then the air comes in and just pushes it into the tank like that 
which is basically which is basically exactly the same as this, but a beefed up version and a better seal, I, I think, anyway. So yeah, then then, then there's your your take off for your pressure switch to to cut the compressor off. So I've used the original one of them. So yeah, it's it's just a, a basic lathe exercise really. Um Yeah, I just had to get a spanner to take that off. It had just uh, tightened up a bit too much. So I've, I've shown you dimensions anyway, and you, you, you can just transfer all dimensions off your old valve anyway. But I've just done you that drawing to, if anybody couldn't be bothered to, 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 to take dimensions off. So really, straightforward basic turning exercise and uh, drilling and tapping exercise and a, a miller would be helpful if you if you're using round bar just to to use your miller to to put a flat on perhaps to get that to get that seat there so yeah that's that's all made now now what i shall do in a few minutes probably i'll fit fit all this into me compressor and then I'll try it and uh, I doubt if this will ever get metal fatigue so yeah thanks for watching okay just before just before I leave you I've, I've got the valve fitting now to compressor I'll just I'll just show you that uh, I'll just have to move camera just a second. Right, I've got valve fitted now. I've pumped it up to full pressure and it's, it seems to be working fine so that's just a, an upgrade for you then if you want to have a check at your own compressors to make sure that you've not got similar valve system onto what I had, which failed. And what I've done, I've just gone over joints with a bit of a bit of washing up liquid to make sure that they're all sealing okay. And yeah, they're fine. So yeah, uh, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, I've shown you drawing. So that's everything I think. Uh, thanks for watching and. Uh, I'll catch you next time on my next project.